Today, I want to touch on a subject that I really did not think about a lot, and that was related to whether or not my mom, who has vascular dementia, needs to be a full code or if it's time for a do not resuscitate. So that is a pretty big problem because we have a healthcare power of attorney. And in my mind, that should have been enough. But my mother is starting to have medical comorbidities start to work against her, which may result in her actually needing to go to the hospital. The problem that that created for me is that if my dad was to call EMS in the middle of the night, and I'm my mom's healthcare power of attorney, and she's struggling to breathe, the EMS is going to take her to the hospital, and she might ultimately end up on a ventilator, which was something she expressly said that she does not want to have happen. And that created in me this sense of, oh, what do I do now? Because I want to honor my mom's wishes for her end of life, and I want to be able to protect her from not experiencing difficulty in the last years of her life. And so I started to reflect on the fact that we have not yet entered the season in her comorbidities that we would rely on or need to be hospitalized repetitively. But I see that we could potentially be close. And so I had a long conversation with my sister, which I am extremely grateful to, for she is very open to discussing these hard topics. And I said to her, I'm like, what are we going to do? Because the way things stand right now, my mom is still a full code. But if things change and she ends up in the hospital, I might have lost the opportunity to be able to let my mom have chosen how she wants her end of life to be. So we had the hard conversation, which was not easy. We did it on my birthday, but we had the conversation and discussed the fact that my mom was currently a full code. And if she had all of these medical emergencies start to occur, we would be behind the curve. So taking my mom to the doctor a couple of days later, I sat with her and I had very open and honest conversations with my mom about her wishes. And she expressly told me in several different ways that she does not want to have CPR, she does not want to be on a ventilator, and to please just let her go. And so when we came to the doctor's office, I asked the doctor to look at her medical record and tell us whether or not she was currently still a full code. And the doctor said yes. So we ended up having a long conversation and he documented her wishes. The reason I bring up this conversation today is because even though we have a healthcare power of attorney and now my mom is a DNR in her medical record, And even though I knew my mom's wishes, and she has expressly told me several different times that she does not want to be allowed to just linger on, I did not know the emotions that I was going to experience when actually making her a DNR. And so I've struggled with that for the last week or so, because I do want to honor my mom's wishes. And I don't want to just give up on her. But at the same time, my mom has had a lot of medical history that is now starting to come together. And I would rather her be able to choose herself how to spend the remainder of her life than me choose for her. And we end up in and out of the hospital in this horrible little cycle. And so as a daughter of a person who has cognitive impairment, but not far enough yet, that her wishes are not clear, we've allowed my mom to make the decision to be a DNR, and I have total peace and happiness in my heart 
that she has made that decision for herself. I pray that my mom still has many, many, many years left. But I also recognize in the last year, her health has significantly changed. And I want to give her the dignity to be able to make this decision for herself. So to recap real quick, remember that a healthcare power of attorney only starts to take effect when the person cannot make their decision anymore. And sometimes that means that if they're a full code and they end up in the hospital, you have lost the opportunity because they may have already decided to put somebody on a ventilator because the documentation isn't there or the healthcare power of attorney isn't there. So what I'd like you to take away from today is don't shy away from these hard conversations with the people that you love who have cognitive impairment and come up with a plan and let them be the decision maker related to how they want to have the end of their life be. It's a tough conversation. I recognize that. But I also recognize that everybody who is alive, unless the Lord comes again, will actually be um, passing away. And what a better way of showing honor to somebody to allow them to make this decision for themselves. Thank you for joining me today on this very short program related to CPR, full code, and healthcare power of attorney. I hope you have found tremendous value in this short video and that you consider how you as a family are going to approach it with your own loved one. I look forward to having you watch this next video and join my next free workshop at that's dementiacaregivingmadeeasy.com forward slash workshop.